Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about Spring Toolsuit STS or we'll see how to configure STS in Eclipse so that we can work on Spring Boot 2.x. Okay, so that being said, let's begin the video. We'll first go and install Eclipse. So just google it the very first website is from eclipse only eclipse.org and what do we need is eclipse id let's go to the downloads So I'm going to download the setup file on my desktop. It will take some time, so just wait for this to download. Okay, now I can see the download is complete. I'll open the setup, run as admin. Yes. Now we just need to click on next next to download the Eclipse. So to install the Eclipse. It won't take more than a minute, so just wait for this to happen. Okay, so what do we need is Eclipse ID for Java developers, for PHP ID for enterprise. So I'm going with the second option Eclipse ID for enterprise Java developers. Okay, now it is asking me. So basically, you need to have Java first in place. So if I go to my command prompt and if I type Java version, so I already have Java 1.8 installed on my machine, so it's gonna be easy for me. So this is like a, a prerequisite to install Eclipse. Installation folder, I'm going to install Eclipse on my C drive C and then I'll go to program files and then that's it. Install accept. So I don't think it will take much time, it's gonna be quick. So just wait for this to happen. Yes, spring fast. Okay, so this is the first part. It seems a bit slow, but that's okay. We'll wait for a couple of seconds. You guys can use any other ID, maybe like IBM Red, or you can also use JVOS like Code Ready Studio from Red Hat, or you can also use NetBeans. So there are couple of ideas available in the market and you can use whatever you like but for now just for simplicity I am just using Eclipse because most of the new Java developers they prefer to use Eclipse now you see the installation is complete so I am just going to click on launch to launch the Eclipse So this guy is asking me to select workspace so I'll go with default if you guys want you can go and create your own workspace on the root of C drive 
that's that is what people prefer but for now i'm okay with that so i just go and click on okay one second let me do it for you guys control c browse i'll go to my c drive create a new workspace select okay so i'm good If you guys already have Eclipse, then you can skip the video until here because I'm just starting from the beginning. Okay, so now what I want is so this is my ID. How does it look like? I'm not going to explain about Eclipse. Now, if you see here, File, New, and say for example, I want to create a spring project it's not there right because my ID by default it doesn't support spring so I have to configure to configure that to configure STS in this ID you have to go to the Eclipse market I hope you guys can see here Eclipse marketplace let's go okay now you see there are a couple of op options here one is Eclipse marketplace there is a one more it says obu and there is one more red hat marketplace so i'll keep default to eclipse marketplace and i search here for sorry i'll just go and type spring to suit hit enter let me make this big for you guys so i simply typed here the spring tool suit okay that is what i'm looking for so here you can see spring tool suit and i just simply hit enter now you guys can see there are a couple of options so we'll go for this one spring tools 4 for spring boot okay 4.5 release so how to install there is a button just next to you you guys can see right just click on install need to click on confirm here So see, this is going to install these many features, Spring Boot, Toolsuit, Boss Language Server, Cloud Foundry, Concourse, Spring ID, Boot Microservices, XML, Namespace and everything. So just wait for this to happen and then I'll explain, we'll verify whether we are good with the Spring or whether we are good to create a Spring Boot project or not. And if you guys want to understand what is the difference between a Spring Boot and a Spring MVC you can google it there are tons of video available on the internet I just simply do not want to put my time in explaining the things like what is the difference between spring and spring boot that you guys can do it yourself so you guys can see right it's just installing software here 44% is done so wait for this to happen So in Eclipse, I know that we have something called Marketplace. Similarly, the other IDs like IBM RAID or CodeReady Studio or, or, or NetBeans must have something similar to this one, something Marketplace or something like that. So you'll find something here. If you want, I can put the details in the comment section. If you don't find the Marketplace in your ID, you just let me know in the comment section. And then I'll put some screenshot where to go and download STS plugin for your particular ID. Now it says I'm done with the with the installation, and it's asking for me asking me to recycle the Eclipse. So I'll just click on restart. So we are done with the installation of STS plugin in Eclipse. Now we'll verify whether we are good to go and work on Spring Boot 2.x or not. And the way which I'm telling you is the one way to work on Spring Boot. There are a couple of ways to work on a Spring Boot. So we'll like uh, we have something called Spring Boot CLI. We have something called 
Spring Boot initializes initialization a web application. Okay, so for now, guys, just let me close and let's see if we have Spring Boot installed. File new and I'll go other and then I'll type Spring here. Now you guys can see right Spring Starter Project. It means we have configured Spring in our Eclipse IDE and we are good to go and create a Spring Boot project. But I'm not going to create a Spring Boot project in this video. I'll make another video and then in that video, we'll see how to create a Spring Boot project and how to run that project. Okay, so that's it for this video guys. And if you have any confusion, any questions, just let me know in the comment box. I'll respond to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.